the history of the Grail in ancient times and says the first Fisher King was a man called Bron. They don't call me the devil for no reason. I don't take money, worship, or advice. It's blood up or shut up. Jesus can't save you. Hi guys, um, this is to introduce why you need to do your correct sentence structure. The, if you're going to make any claim, it doesn't matter what it is, like for example a live life claim under Miller's flag or any other flag or using any one of the fiction courts' own forms, since you don't have an order of structure in your sentence, moving this thought to this thought, you don't really have sentence structure. And since all the languages that you're using, irrespective of whether it's say, for example, in the Black's Law Dictionary here, if it is the Black's Law Dictionary that you're going to use to speak from, well, that's copyrighted. And the middleman that's protecting that copyright book there is the crown seal out of central London. That applies to, uh, for the Oxford uh, Dictionary, okay? It's got their uh, middleman servicing their copyright, as well as the Collins uh, Dictionary. So the reason why I'm pointing these things out is even if you did make your claims in some sort of a, a language base, you don't also have authorization to use it and if you do use these uh, languages they don't have a correct sentence structure let alone a finite definition of what the words mean hence you don't really have a claim so if you don't have a claim you have what is called judicial interpretation so a judge will make interpretation at the whether they're going to give you temporary life or not, if it's a live life claim, okay? So that's one. The, the second one is your live life claim, of course, the idea behind it is that you have come out of their maritime laws, the Sesquiview Trust, and since you're coming out, even the own legislation, this is a copy and paste that I have, not a copy and paste, a screenshot that I have done, and it tells you, you need, a live, you need to have a live life claim to get your estates back so that essentially means that you have and keep your own sweat equity so in terms of copyright you don't have copyright permission like the bar association do to use these dictionaries let alone the black's law dictionary or the bullion time or any one of these dictionaries or the buttersworth so now that we've covered the element of the language, the structure in how you're going to convey, if you have first-hand knowledge and you need to turn that first-hand knowledge onto this side of the ledger, in, out, this side of the ledger, like for the, is with the, the is being the transition from the uh, two-system ledger, if you're going to transfer it, in what order are you going to transfer it for? Uh, what order are you going to transfer it into? You don't have that claim. Only Miller does with his flag. And of course, every vessel has to have a flag. Now, most of these things I'm saying are quote on quotes from Miller's own uh, talks as well as Russell's. So I'm showing you the simple process of why, by default, by evidence, by copyright, why you really do need to express yourself in a language format that is already being copyrighted and copy claimed and it has bypassed the Crown Copyright Seal. The Crown Copyright Seal is essentially you surrendering your language to them if you use their seal and now they will act as the middleman as to what you mean means. Okay? Full stop. The other subject that I want to cover is just, just one basic glimpse on past parts of speech. Okay, so if in their own definition of what articles are, articles are A-A-N-T-H-E, in their own definition, as you read it, 
it says if you use the in front of a fact, and of course that can never be a fact because that's fiction. So, the language, it says here by their own definition, this thing that you're trying to describe, this two-ledger system where it's carrying this thought to this thought, this now becomes nothing more than a modified noun. And if you modify this fact of a language, if you modify it, then of course, if you modify something, you want to call it by a different name, which would be called a noun, okay? So, what is it that I'm saying? Even in something like the language, you see the corruption right before your eyes. And they've even called it an article, which means it's artistry upon what you're trying to claim as a fact. You want to speak in a factual language as to opposed to a nonsical language. Okay, you want to be able to create correct prepositional, correct positional phrases is the correct word, correct positional phrases, or be it correct hyphen uh, positional hyphen phrases. You're going to have to bypass the illusionary word of art history, where they've even told you if you use the word an or a only one of these things, like an a language, you will modify this word language thereby bypassing this word language. I put it in a bracket because that now comes off the blackboard and all you have is a A, which is nothing more than a dangling participle verb. Okay, so that's why you're going to have to learn this. When I learned it, I started making claims and became successful with it. The things I said in it and the sues that I made on it allowed me to safeguard myself from this massive cull that we are going through, C-U-L-L. -L. I think you guys all know about, sorry, I beg your pardon, there's no such word as all. This is a quote from Miller's uh, talk, as well as common sense, because I looked up in a dictionary and you can't have all. These are the nonsical ways that we sometimes speak. And as a result, I'm going to tidy up my language a little bit more and say, you guys out there know that the atmosphere is being poisoned, that the insect life is, is dead now, uh, because about 95% of it has disappeared. And as a result, you know that the air that you're breathing, the food that you're eating, the water uh, that you're drinking is all being toxified just under the way, uh, so just under your own nose. Okay, so if you're going to come out of this world of fiction, language, and sesquiview trust, and artistry, and nouns, and pronouns, you're going to have to learn correct sentence structure, passe syntax, grammar. So you can even take possession of a simple document where two people have come together to say, you are who you say you are, and you are a live life claimant, thereby collapsing the sesquiview trust. Okay, so... I hope that was educational. I hope that was to the point. And I'm sorry about some of the nonsical words that involuntarily pop out of my mouth. But I am tidying up my language as I speak. And you guys need to tidy up your language as well, as well as your writing, especially when you're making your claims. Thank you very much.
looks like Satan. It's clear who holds this fear of destiny, motherfucker. He's the Prince of Darkness. for them. He and it's had very sick war who reeled it. I'm the Prince of Darkness. I'm informing you as the devil himself that you will join me in blood or expire. Nobody will enter the house of living waters before me. You silly human slave. What's your f***ing game? It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, and it's clear who is the prince of darkness, you little pussy. We shall not. We shall not. As she level out, we shall not be the last day she's not. Here go for them. Here go for them. I leave for ten minutes and you shift for you. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, motherfucker. Here go for them. He and it's had very sick war who reeled it. Here go for them. I leave for ten minutes and you shift. You're officially dead in the necrophiliac, motherfucker. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, motherfucker. Here go for them. He and it's had very sick war who reeled it. go for them. He and it's had very sick war who reeled it. Don't you dare say I love you, God bless you, I love you shit. That's we shall die, we will die, we will die. There's no fight to fuck this up. Can't God deny loves it. you. God loves you. God loves you. God bless you. We shall not. We shall not. As she level out, we shall not be the last day she's not. Her come for them. Your resistance is futile. The early computer guys were creating a first network somewhere around 1974-75. They decided to call it Ethernet after the concept of ether that was an early alchemy. We must create a super right which remains unknown. Only some may know these things and others not. You don't have to like it, but you need to make an atonement for your sins. And animal sacrifice, as you see here, is insufficient. You need to pinprick your finger and place a drop of your blood over the words, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth. For the benefit of all, you publish a short video beside my own under Blood Over Intent on YouTube. It's very simple. There's no way to fuck. Why is everyone so fucking stupid? Nobody has to like it, but I alone have the power over sin and death and nobody else. Look it up. This is my world. I'm just standing on your Bible. 2 Corinthians 4.4 Satan is God of this world. I'm standing on gallons of motherfucking blood. More blood than you could spill up on the spot to overturn the decision that the Holy Spear had already made. And the Angel of Death already made. And the Book of Demons already made. And your Grand Architect already made, for heaven's sakes. If I don't drag you off to the Fountain of Youth and pay for everything, you're going to die of old age or stupidity. Jesus is the sun above your head.